Hi everybody, my name is Tom and this is the final part of my gun ranking. If you are interested how this was actually done, uh, what formulas were used, uh, how was it calculated, how was it measured, just have a look in the description. There is a long text that actually tells you how I've managed to handle the, the difficult measuring here. Rank 4 goes to the AN-94 assault rifle off the wall, an absolutely amazing gun. Uh, we actually see that the damage is the same like the Galil does, but the AN-94 has a little bit of more of ammo and therefore ranks higher. But the point is, yeah, it's a wall gun, so we have infinite ammo and it still ranks like rank 4, although I assume we are not allowed to rebuy ammo off the wall and it's absolutely amazing this gun, absolutely great. Um, I don't know, I'm, I wrote here in the little info text that um, it has like ammo like a LMG has, but all the other things, uh, movement speed, reload time are like of an assault rifle and this is like absolutely great gun it's like you take all the best properties of each gun type so the best of the LMG is the ammo count the best of the assault rifles maybe the damage uh, and so on and then you put it into one gun and then the AN94 is coming out it's absolutely amazing Interesting is always the direct comparison to the Galil. Well, I just noticed that the AN-94 shoots a little bit slower, has, so has a little bit of slower kill speed. But um, this is not the most important point here. And uh, actually, I don't know. Uh, I can't say much about recoil. I think the Galil is a bit less stable, has a bit more recoil than the AN-94. Um, but yeah, um, the max damage output is higher when using the AN-94 and therefore it's the better gun. Rank 3, Bronze Metal, goes to the Ray Gun Pack-A-Punched. Well, it's absolutely amazing. You see here, if we would assume we have uh, we had measured everything without half hopper and without double tap to this gun would be ranked number 1. So it's absolutely amazing that even though all the bullet-based guns um, get like um, uh, double damage by double tap 2 and then I think a double damage by head popper. So uh, overall they do like four times as much damage as they actually, I say, should do. Um, and uh, that, that was wrong said. Not that they should do. Um, they just do four times as much damage than like um, if they wouldn't profit by those perks. And the Rigan doesn't profit by those perks and still makes it to up to rank 3. And that shows how much freaking damage this gun actually does. You see it, um, 27.2k in damage uh, with one bullet. That's absolutely amazing. The gun shoots very fast. It has the movement speed of a pistol, so 100%. If you want a knife for some reason, for example, when you have some crawlers uh, that annoy you, you can a knife very quickly when holding the ray gun. It is quite easy to avoid the explosion of it. So absolutely great, this gun. The kill speed, skill speed is absolutely tremendous it's just awesome um, I love the gun um, for my personal taste I shouldn't talk about my personal taste but I personally think it's the best gun in the game it just has one problem and that is when you use it in combination with a bullet based gun the ray gun will actually make you lose the headshot perk so you have to re-earn it then again that's a little advantage, uh, disadvantage of it but this is actually the only one that I can think of well, the ray gun, absolutely epic. Rank 2 goes to the DSR-50. Well, it's actually not a big surprise that the DSR-50 gets the silver medal because uh, we already have seen at the Barrette that snipers do like approximately 90k damage per bullet. You actually see that the DSR-50 is doing the highest damage per bullet out of all guns that we have measured. And uh, yeah, now that um, the, uh, snipers also profit by double tap and head popper, they just they just go absolutely crazy. And uh, you see it there. We do like 10 million damage when you, when we use the full ammo of the DSR 50. This is absolutely amazing. You all see the difference to the ray gun is is massive. The DSR does like 10 million and the ray gun like 6.5 million. So it's a massive difference. The problem with the DSR 50 is uh, maybe to to uh, it's maybe found but with the kill speed because you know um, it is like a bolt action gun I think. So there is a break between between two shots and this makes it not to a 
very fast gun. But uh, when you are just interested to, to kill a max amount of zombies and if you just want to get your your max ammo, just use the DSR-50 because it is the second best gun for that. Now, important with that gun is that you actually pack a punch it until you get the iron side attachments because uh, then you don't lose the overview anymore when going ADS. You can more safely use it on close range and so on. So the iron signs are very, very important. Now, I don't know, we are very, very excited for rank 1, but I actually tried to measure also how much points you can gain with the guns. So um, um, I kind of cut this out of the measurements because the results were very easy and I can say that in like one sentence. The more ammo and the less damage, the more points you gain. So LMGs are best and worst are kind of all that stuff that has no ammo like shotguns and everything else like in between. And there is not a big difference between points you can gain. About kill speed, I already said Raygun is one of the best. Galil is very, very good. LMG is rather not that good and um, snipers also not that good and uh, so the best uh, guns about kill speed I would say like all good assault rifles and um, all these funny explosion thingies like Mustang and Sally and Regan so <laughs> is there anything else? Oh, I think not. No come on rank 1 gold medalist is the SVUAS it is a freaking surprise maybe but when we uh, think about it well it is also a sniper, and snipers are awesome guns. Snipers are awesome guns. So the SVU AS has like twice as much ammo than the DSR 50, and uh, it does approximately half the damage of it. So they are very, very equal, the SVU AS and the DSR 50 by the max damage output. But the difference of them is, of course, that the SVU AS can shoot extremely fast. It's like uh, you can empty the whole clip, uh, I think it has 12 shots in the clip, with one single burst, and um, then you kill a full wave even in a very, very high round. And that is extremely cool, of course. So you see this gameplay here, and when you have a look at the points, you always see like, um, with one single bullet I get like two, 200 points or two times 100 points so with two headshots and um, this shows just how freaking crazy this uh, thing kills the zombies so like with every bullet I kill two zombies it's absolutely amazing um, yeah I, I was surprised that a Volgan actually would win um, yeah, so yeah try the SVU AES out you see if you like it or not um, the scope again is there, we can't get rid of it, that's a bit of a disadvantage. But um, I think the gun actually has some kind of style and uh, it's funny to use it because it shoots that fast. Now, um, what should you do with that ranking? Should you use rank 1, 2 and 3 because they are the best guns? And the answer to that is definitely no, you shouldn't. It is very important what guns do you like and what guns do you not like. For example, I have to say I don't really like snipers. They are too slow for me and um, I just want to own the zombies. I don't want to aim carefully here and so on. So I just want to have fun. I want to see some action going on and therefore I, I don't want to use snipers. But I want to use the ray gun, for example, because I don't have to aim with it and I can just shoot on the ground. I don't, uh, I don't have to care. I, you know, it's like I can totally play brain AFK and just see the zombies um, falling into parts when using the ray gun. Or um, the Galil is one of my favorite guns. I don't know why, you know. It's it's just the way it is. But I would never ever use the hammer because uh, movement speed is too slow for me personally. And then um, what I sometimes like to use is like, um, for example, the Python because it, make, it has uh, such a high damage output. It's really, really fun. Or also the 5.7 single wielded pistol is always like giving me a very special experience. And um, those are not bad guns although they are never ever ranked like in the top 10 positions and so on well I mean Ray and Galil are but not uh, Python and so on and uh, that is actually the point I want to say so um, when you decide with what loadout you go just um, follow your personal intuition because um, yeah 
there are guns you like and there are guns you don't like and uh, um, it would be one of the biggest mistakes you can do just using uh, the top three guns. So if you say, hey, I like LMGs, then use the hammer, which is rank 5 and uh, you can then also even uh, use the RPD, which is rank 10 and you have the perfect loadout for you when you like LMGs. But when you say, I like actually assault rifles and you play Green Run Transit, you go with the Galil rank number 6 and you go with the MTAR rank number 13 and it's the perfect loadout for you. Or when you say, um, I play in Green Run Farm with the gate closed and I anyway can't get the double tap perk. So I don't want to actually focus too much on... on uh, uh, bullet based guns then you go with the Mustang and Sally and the ray gun and it's the perfect choice for you and uh, yeah the, uh, you know the point is don't actually use the guns that are top rated um, but think about which guns you like and which guns you wanna choose so use what is fun for you use what you like and not what the table tells you that is very important. Hope you enjoyed this. Have fun. Bye.